Welcome back to Obermott Investing. It has been a dreadful first three weeks because all the stock markets are down. Does this mean you should invest? Well, if you think you know what the future will bring, you should turn this video off because I don't know. I don't know what the future will bring and even though uh, the markets went down, I don't know if they go down further or if they go back up. I want to invest for my retirement savings and I know in the next 20 to 30 years, markets will go up and down. And I know if I don't invest, I lose out a lot more than if I invest and make occasional losses. So we are here to invest. I have here in front of me the latest updates for the top 10 stocks by index. We are publishing on June 12th, Australia, Italy and China. So top 10 stocks for this region. But in this series, I want to invest in Europe. So my target is Italy because that's the only country in Europe right now. Let's have a look what we see here. Well. We have um, a couple of stocks with good value, good growth and good safety. But let's go all the way down to the combined investment strategy that has the summary of all these aspects. The one with the best uh, combined rating is any, an integrated oil and gas company. I don't want to invest in oil and gas right now, uh, maybe later uh, at the moment. I want to have some real world. Um, products. We have here um, clo uh, in the fashion area, apparel, accessories, luxury, three groups actually, Ferragamo that I know because I'm actually wearing Ferragamo shoes right now um, that, I, that are really comfortable. <laughs> I can recommend that. So this is a stock I would probably like but you know here I'm for my retirement savings not really buying shoes. Uh, Luxotica and Montclair I don't know. I could look into those companies uh, then that we have uh, Distiller and Winters um, with a good value rating, uh, not so much growth though. And if I look at the other stocks, uh, their safety ratings are quite low, except of Pirelli tires and rubbers, but that has a really bad growth rating. So um, since I already have uh, bought a French luxury company, I'm not so sure if I want to buy more, so let's go back up and look at the focus stocks in the focus markets. Let's see what we have here. Um, sound incentives in Western Europe, uh, middle sized companies is what we are publishing on June 12. Let's go here all the way down to the uh, combined ratings. What do we have here? Um, a multi sector holdings. I'm not so keen on holding companies. I'd rather directly invest in the companies that do work. And here we have food retail. We've already had Nestle. There's another food retail. There is air fried and logistics, specialty chemicals with a bad growth rating. Uh, actually, the only thing down here could be Next City Home Building that has uh, an int it's in, it's in France, it's really large. It has a, a good value rating and a good safety rating. Um, I probably look at the one up here with the really good ratings. Let's see what this is. Del Hayes. Del Hayes, um, we have here in front of us, is also a climate protection stock, something I like. Let's look at how the performance uh, uh, works out for this company. Um, all good ratings, we already know what are the details, value, um, ah, it's actually, it actually doesn't have a lot of profits, um, doesn't have a lot of profits, but you know, if you look at the size, uh, the value is quite good, if you look at dividend yield, the value is good, if you look at growth, yeah, well, revenue has not been growing, so they may have gone through a crisis, but profit growth quite a bit, so it could soon be more attractively valued also in respect to profit. Let's see what the company actually does. You know, we click here, uh, go to the company webpage, see what they do. 
Dalhousie Group. Um, there are in um, it's a little bit hard to say what what this is, huh? <laughs> they are uh, in eastern mar eastern markets. Then of course Belgium, a little bit the United States. Um, let's look at the investor center if you can find out more about this company and. Um, key figures doesn't say much about what it actually does uh, revenue is 21 billion it's a large company I don't want to go into the details of numbers um, and I still haven't found really what they're doing instead you know except that they're a food company and I know what the media relations team does, but you know somehow they're not really good at communicating what um, they're doing. Let's see what the CEO has to say. Now that's a video. I don't know if you want to listen to a video now. Um, fast facts, maybe here I see a little bit more about the company. Uh, it's mainly in the United States. Uh, it's in Belgium and it's in SEE. Indonesia okay so I'm basically buying a company that is in the US food business if I buy, buy this company mm. do I want that not really let's go back to my top 10 stocks let's see what we have here else what else um, let's see this is there's no growth here in, in DSM specialty chemicals Let's look what that next city is. Um, let's see what they do. They're in France. There is an English version. That's already good. Um, investor presentation. What is next city? Oh, annual results. Um, that's really not what I wanted see here let's close this uh, was way too big uh, let's go back investors presentations Angle. English that's at least good you know it's a PDF it's now loading down it's a large PDF um, that is now on my computer well, that's that was it, but I don't know why this is so big. Let's make it a lot smaller so we can better see it. Um, next to the at the glance, um, let's make that bigger again. So, property management, development, commercial real estate development. Hmm. Not really my, not really what I'm into. I think I'm gonna go back. You know what? I'm gonna go back to the Italian stocks. You know, after all, I bought Ferragamo. Um, it's a value of 64. This is a little bit more expensive. And um, Ferragamo, of course, I know what they're doing. Let's see how the website is. It's also family owned. That gives us a certain security for some reason it's quite slow the web page maybe they have to produce um, they have a lot of international customers um, there is not really anything on the stock on their website I guess that that is quite understandable but if I don't have any information about you know what they're doing I don't really want to buy it let's go with the second one let's go with this company let's see what they're doing um, company I can here go about us this website or third tools okay this is a disclaimer produce and distributes sun and prescription eyewear of high technical status quality improved well-being and service customers 
So it does eyeglasses, sunglasses. Um, has actually, you know, lot, looks like they're into the new media area. Um, people, investors, uh, never hide. This section, premium fashion. You see there, seven billion. And they're doing all kinds of things. And they're even, <laughs> they're even doing something local. Help the local community. I think I like this. Um, let's go for that, for that stock. Um, let's go for that stock, Luxotica Group. Um, let's go for this one and log in to So here you see the latest stocks we bought and we are now going to buy new stocks. Um, I purchase the stock that we just looked at, which was Luxorica, right? Let's see if they find this. Um, and I'll make this a little bit bigger. I think it is waiting, yes, it is waiting. Make this a little bit bigger, let's see what they have um, in, for this company. The searching on this website always takes a while, which is a pity. They should have a faster search engine. I could also look at the symbol, which is here. Maybe that is faster. Let's, let's look at the symbol. Kind of, okay. Didn't find it. Zurika. Uh, let's search for this. Ah, oh, here. Yeah, it found it. Um, yes. That's the one. It's 59 euros in Swiss francs. Euro in Swiss francs is 62 Swiss francs. I want to buy roughly for 5,000 francs. I want to buy 80 shares. So I'm going back and I say I buy 80 shares. I say best. I make this smaller again so that I can say go on. And it looks like that's it. Let's execute. Which means it has been accepted. You know, uh, we'll see the stock next week in our next video. I hope you enjoyed this instruction and how I found the stock I like, even though there were quite a few stocks there that, you know, didn't really fit what I wanted to buy. Thank you for watching and see you again next week. Bye-bye.